Okay, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Tamir, and I'd like to show you how to uh, you can use this uh, little add-on that I wrote. Uh, this little script assigns uh, random materials from the object's list of materials to each and every face on the mesh, and it works nicely with Cycles or the Blender internal engine. And its purpose is to help you uh, create some stylish effects or variations uh, that add realism. Um, which is actually what I needed it mostly for, as we're going to see in a moment. Uh, so first, uh, let's uh, start by looking how to uh, install the plugin. So what you need to do is go to the uh, user preferences here. And then when you're on the add-ons um, tab, you go to install from file to this button here. And when you click on it, you're gonna be able to choose the Python file, the script file uh, where the where you downloaded um, the script to on your folder. So uh, when you find it, just uh, press install from file, and then you need to apply. Uh, click here on the little checkbox, and then you have this little um, add-on enabled. And when you go to the 3D view. You're going to see uh, this little panel here, and this panel has two um, options, which we're going to see uh, in, a, in a second. Um, but first, let's just have a look at this cube. This cube actually has been uh, subdivided a number of times, so um, you actually have quite a few faces here, and it also has uh, seven materials. You have um, seven materials which have different names and different um, colors of course and when you go to the add-on and press uh, change the randomization seed it's gonna apply um, a random material from the list to each and every one of the faces um, so that's one thing it can do and each time you change the seed it will change the way it uh, randomizes the materials on the object so you can play with it until you find something you like um, so that's one thing and uh, another thing we have here is this uh, prefix or um, a filter actually and uh, this enables you to just uh, filter a few of the materials on the list and not use all of them so if I'm gonna press Matt here you're gonna see that it actually uses now just all the materials that have the word matte somewhere in there and the other materials are not used at all so now uh, it only uses these three first materials here uh, if I'm gonna remove the filter it's gonna return to using all the materials from the list so this is one thing you can do with it um, which is nice um, but actually it's not the purpose for which I wrote this script I actually wanted to use it uh, for something else and we can see this uh, in this little example here first I'm gonna switch to the cycles rendering engine and uh, this object what we have if I'm gonna switch to rendered view what we have here is um, an array of faces that have uh, leaf materials assigned to them and you have uh, several variations of these uh, leaves which um, we can see if I'm gonna split my window actually I'm gonna do it again and I'll show you the note editor you can see that each material has a slight variation on the diffuse color diffuse uh, uh, material so uh, the diffuse texture goes through some processes here it's gonna be multiplied to get a little bit darker and here it gets a little brighter and this one um, again uh, makes it a little bit darker but less so um, and you have other variations this changes the color a little bit and uh, as well takes a little bit more to yellow or to the red and um, so without um, getting into this too uh, uh, deeply we can see that each material has a little bit of a variation and what I want to do is I actually wanted to just um, you know assign one of these randomly to each of the faces and this is something that the add-on does so if I'm gonna change the randomization seed you can see that it actually uses 
uh, all the materials to all of these faces. So this is something that's very useful when you're using um, uh, objects that's crea been created by add-ons like um, the sapling tree add-on or the uh, ivy generator and they both create these leaves that are um, just plain meshes with faces distributed so you can use these to um, randomize the materials and uh, actually have much more variation and if we look at a, an image where I uh, actually rendered both uh, um, versions one uh, with just one material on it and the other with uh, random uh, materials per face you can see that the uh, randomized uh, version is much more realistic and much more varied so uh, this is actually what you can do uh, with this little add-on and I hope it's gonna be useful for you, you can uh, uh, use it for just anything you'd like and um, feel free to just leave me comments or uh, suggestions or whatever and uh, that's it cheers